think it was against Swindon in a cup game and I miss kicked it with my left foot from the edge of the box and the keeper dived for a shot, my shot, and it went the other side because I miss hit it and it bubbled over the line just about at the back of the net I think. Yeah, I, rem I remember St James's Park being a similar sort of stadium to when I started at Southampton. Southampton was a kind of um, tight stadium um, and the atmosphere being quite um, quite close because when, when I finished my career, not finished my career, but finished playing at, at the higher level, all, all the stadiums were sort of bowls and you know new builds and stuff and the Dell was a really tight, you know, you literally had the side of the pitch and then half a yard and then the fans and I f that, that's what St James's Park felt like to me it felt sort of tight and like, like it, you know an old, old school stadium Funny enough being an Arsenal fan which a bit odd is was Glenn Hoddle and I was lucky enough to have him as my manager I wouldn't say best moment I've had I've been lucky enough to have many moments obviously I play for my country at under 21 Le level um, to wear that shirt was was pretty proud of my mum and dad in the in the crowd. Um, obviously, making my debut at Everton in front of forty thousand people was pretty special and nerve wracking at the same time. Um, you know, playing at the top level, I didn't really think about it at the time because you know I, I started at Southampton and that was where we were. You know, at the end of my career, I was playing at Championship level and and then dropping down. Um, I probably didn't appreciate it as much. Um, and then obviously moving down to the championship I then started winning trophies which which was great playing in the FA Cup final for Southampton was was special in that team um, and that taught me about teams as well you know we had to be we had to be a good unit and Southampton taught me that Derby taught me that we won the league beat teams like West Brom who were you know much better than us talent talent wise but we beat them um, and then Leicester um, winning the league so I, w I was hoping to finish it off with a, um, a promotion from League Two because I've had the full set, you know, playing in all the leagues, promotions from all the leagues, and then an FA Cup final, which would be nice. So I'm hoping that I do it as as assistant manager this year, which would be, you know, finish the set off. <laughs> Matt Letizia by a country mile. I suppose Strachan was the one at that top level because he took us an average team to the FA Cup final. And I know we had a, you know luck along the way with the draw, but um, that was a special team, and, and he he drove that. Billy Davis for what we did at Derby, we were never never going to win um, the league with anyone else apart from him. He was he was incredible. Um, Huddle, obviously, we talked about Alan Ball was was great for me. He was the one who, who signed me as a pro when other staff were telling him not to sign me. He signed me, gave me a two-year contract. Um, sadly, he's not with us anymore, but a special man. Um, I, I've loved working with Paul and learning from him in, in terms of what he does coaching-wise and what he's bringing to, to football, net, the way I see football as well. And he's bringing that, bringing that through. Cruciate, yeah, 2003, I was, Probably at, at my peak, 26. Um, we were fourth in the Premier League at the time. You know, we'd, we'd beat the likes of Liverpool, Arsenal, Man United in previous years to that. You know, we were we were a, a good side going places in a new stadium at Southampton, and just out of the blue, snapped my cruciate ligament, cost me two years, and I didn't get back um, for about 16 months. I remember getting beat at Liverpool, um, I think it was 7-0, and then the week after getting beat at Everton 7-1, I think that's, in that, in that year that was pretty, pretty horrific, um, and then when we were, when we'd just been promoted from the, obviously the championship with Derby, we, we weren't set up for the championship the year after, and we, were, we found ourselves in the Premier League, we were getting beat every week. Um, yeah, that 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 was pretty tough when you when you're getting stuffed by good players and you just got no no answer really. We were just out out of our depth. I've been sent off once 
not in a um, first team game, I got sent off in a reserve team game and my first yellow card was for someone else's tackle. Mm. Yeah. The second yellow was me, but the first one I took a yellow for someone else. So that led to me getting sent off, so that's pretty poor. Yeah, and you'd have had a clean record for the whole yeah. career. Yeah. 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 Tell Kane as well, he's had two reds and he's 17. Yeah. And I got through my whole career with, with one in the reserve, which wasn't red. Well, you'll pass on. Thank you. <laughs>